Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 seven. And today we're gonna to be talking about the fastest way to make a thousand dollars per day drop shipping. This is beginner friendly. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing, if you wanna make a thousand dollars in a day, you have to consider the different ways that you're gonna be promoting your products, your drop shipping products on your Shopify store. So the typical advertising methods is obviously Instagram and Facebook. So the thing that I would recommend a lot of you guys wanna make a thousand dollars in a day right away is to go with Instagram influencers, that's the way to go for that because it's much quicker. You know, you can get a thousand dollars like boom with a one shout out promotion that you do and it can set you up. You know, it either works or it doesn't really work. So that's what I would recommend a lot of beginners getting started with because there's not too many moving parts. It's very simple to understand. Now, if you want to make a thousand dollars each day with consistency, I would recommend that you go for Facebook ads because that's maybe a little bit more complicated. We're going to be diving into both of these platforms as well in this video going over like like each, you know, different one there. But if you want to go for more consistency, maybe it takes a little bit more of a learning curve to get started with. Facebook is the way to go with that. So, you know, each are, are different in their own ways and we're going to break it down comparing the two between Instagram and Facebook and which one might be better for you. Uh, you know, if you want to make that thousand dollars a day, so thousand dollars a day overall making it. Okay. The first thing I wanted to lay down before we really break down into uh, these different advertising platforms, Instagram and Facebook is that you have to understand, all right, if you're brand new with Shopify, you're probably not going to hit that right away, that $1,000 a day, probably not going to hit it in the very beginning because you have to understand that Shopify at the end of the day is still a business. It's a skill, something you have to learn and naturally is going to take time to understand and actually get good at, okay? It's not going to happen overnight instantaneously. It's going to take a lot of time to actually learn it. Okay, that's the first thing to get down. You know, 90% of Shopify stores close within the first three months because people are not patient. Okay, other business models, uh, stuff that's not online, those businesses take like six months to a year to get off the ground, really. So, you know, you're lucky wanting to do an online business with Shopify and all that kind of stuff because you can get stuff up and running relatively quick in comparison to most other businesses. So, you know, if you don't even have the patience to last for three to six months in this, Man, I mean, you, you really got to you gotta really analyze what you're doing, okay? You want to make money? It's going to take some time to get started with, but, you know, you can make money quicker than three months, but that's just the average learning curve for most people. So understand that first off is you're probably not going to hit it right away, but, you know, it's just going to take some more time, research, and learning to get to that goal that you have set, okay? So let's talk about Instagram to start. All right, let's, th let's talk about dive into Instagram a little bit more with how you could do promotions on here. All right. So the thing with Instagram that's great for beginners is that there's not a lot of moving parts. It's simple because you pay someone for a promotion on their page, on their influencer page, your product gets promoted and you get sales. If you did the right product, the right kind of ad copy and all that kind of stuff, that's just going to take testing with different products to see what works best for the, co the consumers in your niche. Uh, but that's what you're going to have to test and see. But it, it's relatively simple because you pay for a shout out. All right, does this work? No. Okay, try the next one and stuff like that. Now, the thing is with Instagram is consistency is a little difficult when doing shout outs since you need different pages. You know, you can't be throwing the same exact product at people all day long if it works on one page. You, know, you have to switch things up a bit, switch products, change different pages. You could run the same product, uh, but it has to be on different pages. And the thing is, a lot of people in one niche will follow a lot of the same pages. So you have to be careful with doing shout outs and doing different types of influencer pages and stuff like that. I have a lot of other videos on the channel going over in depth on that in the Shopify playlist if you want to check that out. Now, so the thing is here is it may be slightly volatile since one day you do $1,000, the next day might be $100, next day, you know, then no, no money at all. Because with shout outs, you got to be constantly finding new pages to run your products on. Now, it works great. But, you know, that's just something to keep in mind there is that it isn't super consistent. Uh, while you can make a lot of money up front, uh, that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing your Instagram promotion. So now moving into Facebook advertising, uh, personally, what I like a lot more uh, in comparison now, both are great in their own ways. Like I like both. Uh, Instagram's great in the beginning, Facebook advertising great in the back end and stuff like that. So uh, with Facebook advertising, you know, there's a little bit more moving parts. All right. A lot more goes into it. Uh, at the same time, both are great platforms, but they're just different from one another, okay? That's that's the bottom line. Uh, with Facebook advertising, there's minimal fluctuations, so you can and measure your data a little bit more consistently. There's a much larger audience. That's what's crazy is the Facebook audience, like the global audience that you can target is massive. And at the same time, you can be so specific. I mean, I showed this in my recent Facebook ads tutorial, how specific you can get 
on targeting people. I mean, you could target people's phone, what type of iOS they have on their phone, all right? You could target if they're an active, engaged shopper, if they're age 30 to 40, if they're male, female, uh, what country they're in. Like, it's massive, the amount of targeting you can get. So you get really, really specific with what types of ads that you want to test with people. So that's what's really the, uh, the, the great benefit there with Facebook advertising in comparison is you get really, really specific, whereas Instagram influencers might be a little bit more broad because anyone could really follow the page. Okay, you might not be able to target the specific age range that really, really would buy your product. So, you know, it, at the end of the day, it, it just depends on what you want. Okay, there's a lot of different options here with Instagram, Facebook, and there's a whole bunch of other advertising uh, platforms as well, a lot of other ways to get traffic. Uh, but it depends, you know, you pick different options, okay, and figure out what works best for you. What do you want? All right. Do you want more consistency? Maybe Facebook's better for you. You know, maybe something that's easier. Maybe Instagram influencers is better for you. If you don't really like data and numbers, maybe going for influencers is a little bit simpler, a little bit more easy for you to understand. If you like talking to people and setting up promotions and stuff like that, it just takes time to figure out what works best for your niche, what works best for your, you, you know, you personally, how your workflow is, all that kind of stuff is what you have to figure out over time between doing these different advertising platforms. So at the end of the day, what are, what are your goals? Okay. You might not hit that thousand dollars right away, but at the same time, you know, is a thousand dollars the first mark? Is that the first goal? I don't know. Everyone has different goals. Okay. Maybe. And what I would recommend is maybe try and hit a hundred dollars as your first milestone is your first goal. Try and hit that first, because if you hit that hundred dollars, you're even closer to the thousand dollars. Okay. If you can at least hit a hundred bucks, that, then you just have to scale up from there, okay? You increase your budget on, on your Instagram promotions. You do bigger pages. You increase and in scale on Facebook. If you can get $100, you can get to that $1,000. So that's a good way to kind of like scale up is start small, maybe even just 10 bucks and then 100 bucks and then 1,000 bucks and then, you know, it goes on from there. So focus on the consistency. Take Instagram, then transition onto Facebook. Lots of different ways you could do it. That's just what I recommend. So if you guys do want to learn more about Shopify, if you're interested in getting started with Shopify, I do have a Shopify mastery course linked down in the description box below. If you want to go ahead and check that out, highly recommend you do, as well as a Shopify 14-day free trial. Both are linked down in the description box below. Go ahead and check them out, as well as if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Stuff, leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.